So these mice were in a trial that was looking at tumor suppression for multiple myeloma. This was done at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, which is here in Boston. It's the Harvard sort of preeminent cancer institute, maybe in the world. You can see here what's really interesting is that this top line is the control group and the bottom line is the intervention group. You can see as the cancer progresses, it lights up in the mice. What's great, theoretically, is that day 16 of the intervention group, the mice look a lot like day one, as though the tumors hadn't grown. So they published this in blood, which is the high impact journal you would want to publish this kind of research. Great, right? Maybe not. Do these images look similar? Now, if you notice in the bottom corner, bottom left corner, there's a little bit of a fragment and it's identical in both. Now, I don't know if you'd be able to get mice to position themselves perfectly, but that's the real tell. So they took the image from day one of the control group and they copied and pasted it into day 16 of the intervention group and said, look, we have tumor suppression. So this guy, Shalto David, who we've been in touch with, basically started looking at these images out of Dana-Farber and he flagged 58 papers. So that's just one that he said had image manipulation. 